Accompanied by the Deputy Governor Obafemi Hamzat and the Commissioner for Health Aki Ambayomi, Governor Babajide Sonwolu visited those injured from the fatal accident involving the moving train and an 85 passenger loaded staff bus at the Lagos State Government bus number 33. Yes. Briefing newsman, Mr. Governor gave a breakdown of six persons dead, two died at the scene of the accident and four during surgery. The driver of the bus plying his solo to allow Sir Root, who was already in police custody, might have taken a wrong turn judgment, but investigations are ongoing. The five passengers, um, mostly civil servants with a few dependents, um, because you've seen one or two school children um, also in it, so they're mostly, mostly. Um, civil servant, but you know they could have their, their kids riding with them. It was, it was obvious that the train was coming, right? And he probably felt he could quickly drive over or something. So it must have been a wrong judgment call. But we do not, you know, know that for a fact. So it's not it's speculative. But it's only when questions, you know, are being asked the driver who is alive and in police custody that will know um, the real intent and what led to this um, accident. We will also be reaching out to the Nigerian Railway Corporation, who are the operator and owner of this rail. What you saw out there is a world-class triad medical you know, um, um, system where emergencies of this scale, of this magnitude, of this number, had to be easily and very quickly profiled out. You know, and the tents were quickly set up. It was not there before. They were quickly set up, and um, they were able to immediately you know, determine what level of injury were sustained by different um, passengers. Some have been sent to surgery and theater. Some are in ICU. You know, some have gone for x-ray, you know, radiology, and the rest of it. And some, obviously, have been um, um, treated, and they are the what, you know, what for further um, um, observation. Aside suspending his campaigns and engagements for the next three days, a three-day mourning has been declared, plus flags flying at half-mast. I will be instructing the head of service to declare an half-day work tomorrow, meaning that by 12 o'clock tomorrow, uh, people should be asked to um, um, leave work so that we can jointly mourn our, our staff, our loved ones, people that need to be taken for burial and rest of it in Lagos or even outside Lagos, um, they can be, um, they can be you, know, um, 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 you know, followed with and, and so it will just be a short day tomorrow. I will also be suspending my campaign uh, for the next three days. There will not be any form of public engagement or any form of campaigning um, during this period so that we also can um, join a family in the morning. Governor Sonwolu appreciated the medical team at Lasuth, the first responders and security agencies for their prompt response, as well as his political opponents at the forthcoming gubernatorial polls, Olajide Adedira and Badiba Roads Viver, for showing up and commiserating with the victims, noting that Lagos has the capacity to tackle emergencies. I want to thank them and commend them, you know, for their show of um, commitment. You know, um, beyond politics, these are human beings, these are public servants that they or myself will want to superintend over. I'm very impressed with the level of, I mean, commitment, solidarity that has been displayed, you know, all throughout this morning into this afternoon. Blood donors are encouraged to approach Lassuth to help out in this time of need. 42 persons had moderate injuries, 29 serious injuries, and 8 with mild ones. Aditola Coyote, OTV News.